Hi guys, welcome back to the Sunless Ray YouTube channel. My name is Jessica Ray and I am the founder and creator of Sunless Ray. I have been a professional spray tan artist for over eight years. And during that time, I've literally seen everything you should not do when it comes to fake tanning and self tanning. In today's episode, I'm gonna go over what was requested by you actually, which was how exactly do I self tan? And I, f I don't know how I haven't made this video yet. I feel like I was so focused on telling people the things that I felt they didn't know that I didn't go over the most basic. So today is all about how to self tan from A to Z. I have everything right here. So this is a brown exfoliating mitt. I actually purchased black ones for Sunless Ray but I got stuck with a bunch of brown ones because I ordered wrong the first time, so I use the brown ones. If you were to purchase the self-tan kit from us, you will get the black one, but for the purpose of this video, this is my exfoliating mitt, and then I use the Dr. Bronner's body wash, and this is how I exfoliate. I am going to exfoliate 24 hours before I self-tan, so you kind of need to plan it out. So I usually will self-tan, on Sundays, so that means Saturday night I'm going to be exfoliating. I use this in the shower. I use my Dr. Bronner's. It doesn't matter which one you get. This one smells pretty good. This is the rose one. And I just put a little bit on there. And while I'm in the shower, I rub in circular motions all over my body. I actually just exfoliated, which is why I'm on the paler side right now because I have one of my employees coming over right now and we we're gonna do some training and she is going to spray tan me actually, so that is why I'm pale. But the first step is exfoliate 24 hours before you self tan with Dr. Bronner's. This is one of the most important steps is to be using an organic natural body wash at least a week before self tanning to get the best results possible. So if you're using like a Dove right now, switch to Dr. Bronner's, give it a week and then self tan so that you make sure all of that old Dove product is off of your skin. After you've exfoliated, do not put lotion on. So I know this is hard, like right now I feel pretty dry because I just exfoliated. But, and by the way, I shouldn't be getting the spray tan the same day that I exfoliated, but for training purposes, I just, this is just how it's working out for me. But if you want the best spray tan possible, also always exfoliate 24 hours beforehand. Yes, super important to be using an organic natural body wash and no lotion. The lotion I would be using before, like I would be moist, I like to moisturize every day to make sure my skin is nice and not super dry or else the self tan or even a spray tan can look weird. I use the Hemp's body lotion. This is just one I got for free for ordering a spray tan solution. So yeah, I love Hemp's, recommend that. Okay, so I have exfoliated. Now you want to remove all hair the same 24 hours beforehand. If you shave, wax, sugar, whatever it may be, do that 24 hours beforehand so your pores are closed the day of your self tan. Now it is the day that you are going to self tan. I get my self tan mousse. I have my applicator mitt right here and my hem lotion. So the biggest thing that is going to save you when you're self tanning is applying lotion to your dry areas before you self tan. I can't tell you how many times I've spoken to a client when I'm spray tanning them at their house and they're like, I can't apply self tan mousse to save my life. Like it always looks like shit. And I'm like, are you using lotion? And they go, no. And I'm like, okay, I just applied lotion to your body. Do the same thing before you self tan and I promise you'll have a better tan and it always works. So what you do, I'm fully clothed right now. So I'm not gonna be getting like super in detail, but of like showing you, but I am going to tell you. So you get the lotion, um, just a little bit, like that much. You don't need a lot. And then just rub to your elbows, your hands, I'll do this part, your hands, make sure to get your, like your wrist right here. You're gonna do your knees and then the top of your feet, the sides of your feet and the back of your feet. And that is really gonna help with how your feet turn out. What a lotion does is it acts as a barrier. So it's not gonna make those areas as dark, which is what you want because these areas don't normally get super tan. You want them just to look natural and kind of blend in with your body. I have applied all the lotion. Next, I am going to get my self tan mitt, put it on, always shake your self tan mousse beforehand. This is just the Sunless Ray self tan mousse. I'm gonna not actually pump it, but I'm, I would do two pumps. And then I always start 
with my arm. I'm just gonna show you how I exactly do it. It doesn't really matter exactly the way you start. This is just how I do it. I do my arm and I'm looking in the mirror when I do this. I apply to my arm in circular motions and I always lift up my arm and make sure to get right here because this is a really easy spot to forget is right here. I get my boob, my chest, my other boob, and I do as much as I can before I have to switch it to my other hand. So I'll think, okay, I can get right here. So I get my belly. If I were to stand up, I'm gonna get my leg right here and then all the way down. And then my foot, I'm not really gonna show you, but that is it. And then I can also get my back. So I'm gonna get my back right here and my side right here. And then also my neck as much as I can. Now, when I switch the mitt over, I just grab it by this area so I don't like get self tan loose on my hand. And then I just kind of switch it over and I do the same thing on the other side. Arm, like this, this side of my belly, my back, my leg, and then all the way down. Next, I get my hands. When you get your hands, make sure you are getting in between your fingers or else you're gonna have a weird line. Make sure to get the side right here and the side of your hand right there. And then your wrist and blend it down. Same thing with the other hand in between the fingers, the side right here, this side, and then the wrist. And then I usually just like blend it all the way back up and just keep blending. When I do the hands, I don't apply more mousse. I just use what's left over on the mitt. When I reapply mousse as I'm doing my body, it's kind of when I don't see it spreading out as much. So like each kind of area of the body, I'll apply more pumps of self-tan mousse. I personally like a, a tan neck. So I'll get my neck a few times. And then lastly, I'll put my hair up if it's down and then I'll apply the mousse to my face too. So I'll probably like one pump and I'll rub it all over my face. Make sure to get your ears and right here and now it's done. So the mousse is applied and what's so great about the self tan, or sorry, the sunless ray self tan mousse is you can get dressed right away. So just make sure you put on loose clothing. I'll usually put on like a shirt like this and then like some black sweats. And I sleep in it, shower in the morning, I rinse right when I wake up. I don't use soap or lotion until the 24 hour mark so my self tan keeps developing. And after that, it is really important to be using a lotion daily to keep your skin from like cracking. I don't know if that's ever happened to you, but that just means your skin's dry. So moisturizing daily is going to maintain your self tan, keep it lasting long and stop it and stop it from cracking. While you have your self tan on, you can only shave to remove hair and you can shave again at the 24 hour mark after applying your self tan mousse. But yeah, that's it. That is how you apply self tan mousse. It takes me a few minutes, super fast, super easy. The one that I use is an overnight solution. So I sleep in it, shower in the morning, but I hope you loved this self tan tip. If you have more questions, please comment below and I will respond in a new video or a new comment. You can follow me on Instagram at Jess Ray Buck, at Sunless Ray, and my website is sunlessray.com and I release a new episode every Tuesday of the week.